Hello everyone, my name is Josh Neese and this is my game pitch for Through Small Eyes. This game is a 2D puzzle platformer where players will collect items that give them new abilities that help them overcome obstacles, solve puzzles, and further let them explore the area. This game themes revolves around looking at the world through the imagination of a child. This will be depicted in the map itself as well as the character and items to where eventually the character will take on the image of a superhero. There will be five items in this game. The first item is the jump boots, give the player a double jump ability. The next are the strength gloves, which will allow the player to push or lift heavy objects. The next is the cape, which will allow the player to glide after a jump. The next is a shrink belt, which will allow the player to shrink very small to get in nooks and crannies. And the last item is the shielding globe, which will allow the player to take no damage going over difficult terrain. Now the map itself will have four distinct areas, the player's house, a park, a street, and the mall. Now those four locations seem very straightforward and simple, but to a child's imagination they start to turn and twist a bit. Now the player's house is where they feel the most safe, so that turns into home base. Now the simple park from the player's house turns into a seemingly never-ending forest where who knows where it ends. The seemingly calm and quiet streets turns into city ruins with destruction and chaos all around. And the seemingly quiet mall turns into an underwater enchanted shop deep below the ocean surface. The overall look of these areas will be that of the mundane world with some splashes of the imagination world. But upon entering these areas, the imagination world will pop in for a few seconds just to give the overall feel of the imagination. Within each of these areas, the player will be able to pick up one unique item except in the first area where they will pick up two. Each unique area will have anywhere between three to five unique puzzles or obstacles, where each puzzle or obstacle can take anywhere between one to all five items, depending on the puzzle's difficulty. So this is the idea for how the map will lay out, where you need the item from the previous area to move on to the next area. In this first example, the player is coming from home, so they have the jump boots and the strength gloves. So this example, the player will need to push the rock into the pit to then move on top of the rock and double jump over the gap to make it to the forest. Now that the player has the cape from the forest, they will need to traverse on to the city streets. So they come back to this area and they will double jump then glide across the gap, double jump on top of the rock, double jump then glide to the platform, and then you can see the player cannot shrink underneath that because they don't have the shrink belt yet. After this, the player will again double jump and glide across the platform, push across the rock, jump down the hole, and then move on to the city streets. Now that the player has the shrink belt, they can come back to this area, push over the rock, double jump and glide across the gap. Now this time they have the shrink belt so they can shrink under the area, move under, grow large again, and then move on through the mall. With the mall being the final area, the player will pick up the snow globe pretty quickly, which they will use to protect themselves from lava spikes or other difficult terrain used heavily within the mall. Similar games to this are Super Metroid and Castlevania with their large connected maps, their item collection that gains new abilities, and items unlocking new areas of the map. Another similar game is Scribblenauts for its cartoony art style that I would like to capture for this game, as well as its puzzle solving, as well as its imagination focused gameplay that helps move the game forward. Developmental risks of this game are of course going to be art. With Scribblenauts' influence of a simplistic cartoony art style will be easier to implement but it will still be a challenge, as well as puzzle design to make it both challenging and interesting. Thank you everyone for watching my game pitch for Through Small Eyes.